Freedom Scientific, a Vespero brand. Let's talk a little bit about how to manage your chat. So I'm here in the list of chats, and the most recent one is going to be on top. Chat, Rod Miller, offline, last message from you. Hi, this is a test message for demo purposes at 10 a.m. Press. So it read a lot of information there to me. It read who it was, who the chat was with. Now this is just with Ron. If it was a group message, it would notify me of that. If you have a meeting, what you know, whatever meetings you have, you have chats associated with those meetings. And even if those chats aren't used, you will still have information such as when the meeting was started and ended. So you'll hear Josh say things like meeting chat, group chat, um, or just a person's name. So I can down arrow. Chat, Carl Scott, offline, last message from you. I'm attaching this file for demo purposes. All right, so if I wanted to access this chat, I could press enter and it's gonna take me to. Type a new message edit. The message edit box where I could type another message. And if I type a message, Comma. I just typed hi. hi. I can either tab to send or I can press enter. Sending dot 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 message sent. And it just sent that message. And it places me, I'm still here in the edit box. Actions for and if I tab, I have some actions. We're going to get to this in a minute, but we have a toolbar that we can navigate with our right and left arrow keys. Set the attach files, loop components, emoji. We have attach files. We have all kinds of things here. Now, again, we can tab and shift tab through this chat area. We can get back to, uh, if I shift tab, Type a new message edit. I'm in the message field. If I shift tab again, chat content list with three items. Sent I, list. I am in the list of messages to Carl. And so this is within the conversation that I've selected. I can up and down arrow through this. I'm attaching this file for demo purposes. Elizabeth Whitaker, the message has an attachment. Today at 9.32 a.m. And JAWS will read that information. And it tells me that, that that message has an attachment. All right, so if I wanted to start a new chat, I could press Control and the letter N. Two combo box, two edit, enter name. You're starting a new conversation. So it tells me, it brings up a box, just like it does when you go to start a new email. And you can just type someone's name. So I'm going to type Rachel's name here. To list box, Rachel Buchanan. And I could select, I could down arrow to hear the rest of the options Test here. With Rachel and Liz. And, or I Rachel. could just choose Rachel. So I'm going to press enter because I want to select Rachel. To Rachel Buchanan edit, Rachel Buchanan selected from the list. You're starting a new convert. Type a new. And then I can tab. So I could actually start... keep typing names there to add more people to that chat. I could type Carl, I could type Ron's name, and so forth, and add each person to the chat. And then here I could type a message and hit enter, and it would uh, send that new message. So that's how you start a new chat. Now, what if you are in a meeting, for example, and people are chatting and there, there's a, there are a lot of messages in that meeting and you want to copy. Let's say you want to manage that. You want to be able to copy and read those or you just want to be able to read them in such a way that it's easier to keep up with. I'm going to give you a quick tip here to do that. By default, our virtual P PC cursor is turned off. But if we turn it on with insert Z, use virtual PC cursor on. We can now navigate this like a web page. So I can go to the top Rachel B with control home. And each chat message is going to be a heading. Uh, I'm going to press control two. Chat list. And I'm going to go back to the chat. Rachel Buchanan. Chat. Carl Scott. Here we go with Carl. Type a new. And now let's turn on the virtual PC. Use virtual type. Now remember. Carl these the last message is on the bottom so the the most recent chat chat conversation is at the top when you're in the, the list of conversations but the most recent message is at the bottom when you're in a conversation so i'm going to press h here hi this is a test message i'm attaching this file for demo purposes hi bye. so i'm just pressing h it's reading each message i can down arrow and get more information about that message when it was left and so forth and if I want to copy this, I can just cop select and copy like I would any other text on a web page, which makes it really convenient when you are working, uh, you know, with when you really want to copy a lot of messages. Um, you can just select and copy very quickly. So that is how we manage chats. Freedom Scientific, a Vespero brand. 
To stay up to date on upcoming webinars and training events, complete the sign-up form at freedomscientific.com forward slash webinars. Thanks again for connecting with us.